Hello from Cookbook Divas! My name is Carrie, and I was at the library yesterday and I was intrigued so I had to take home the salt water table. Recipes from the Coastal South by Whitney Otaka. Let's check it out together. Came out in 2019. Coastal South. Okay. Ooh. So far good photos but no food pictures. I wonder if this is a little bit of a travel related book too. Okay, check out the contents. Uh, introduction, of course. The marsh, the land, and the sea, the southeast coast. Welcome to the tropical south, the seasons, and this book. A guide to good cooking, a guide to building a fire for grilling. That's good info. Chapter 1, oyster season. Chapter 2, vegetable season. That's the part for me since I'm vegetarian. Chapter 3, shrimp season. My boyfriend's favorite. Chapter 4, heat season. Chapter 5, smoke and cedar season. Okay, let's jump into it. She's writing about her path to the saltwater table. I'll read it later. Here's a gorgeous picture of some tomatoes. Okay, going through the marsh, the land. We're going to learn about the area and why the food is the way it is there. Gorgeous photo. Uh, are you from the south? Those of you that are watching this, have you been there? I've only been to New Orleans, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Georgia, I think. That's it. Oh, and Florida. Beautiful photos. Okay. Info on her pantry, building fire, etc. etc. Let's get to the first chapter. Oyster season. Okay. Lots of recipes in here, and it's not just oysters. Blood orange and ginger soda. That sounds refreshing. Here's a cold weather breakfast of steel cut oats. Radicchio flatbread. That looks still healthy. I can't do it. Sorry. Winter root vegetable soup. Now that I would do. I eat lots of soup in winter and fall and spring. Oyster and clam chowder. My boyfriend would die of happiness if I made that for him. And fried oyster salad. A note on citrus. This is a gorgeous book. Wow. Oh my goodness. Winter citrus salad. How beautiful is that? Very Instagrammable. <laughs> um crispy smashed potatoes. Who doesn't love potatoes? Okay. Ooh, simple roasted carrots. I can tell I'm going to be going through this book way more slowly once I get off camera. Fried pork chops. Now she's teaching us about marsh mud and sea salt, the southeast wild oyster. Okay, I don't know if I can get those here. Here's wood-fired oysters. Go ahead and drool. I know you want to. Steamed clams. Citrus and herb roasted chicken. Sounds like my boyfriend would like that too. Beautiful grapefruit tart. I love making tarts, especially if they're tart tarts. Ha <laughs> ha. Mary's double chocolate cake. How to throw an oyster roast. Okay, now we're in vegetable season. Starting off with some beautiful beet salad. Okay, what else? Ricotta dumplings. A paloma to start off with. A note on a garden. I'm not a gardener. Slow roasted grouper. Wait, I thought we were in vegetables. <laughs> not sure what's happening. Uh, the grand aioli. Beautiful vegetable share board with homemade aioli. Sounds good. Little gem lettuces. Those are actually my favorite for salads. My personal favorite. Pan roasted flounder with peas. I guess that's where the vegetables come in. I'm kind of confused. A case for herbs. I have an herb garden, do you? I have way too much mint right now. Heirloom corn polenta. That looks delicious. I think I see some mushrooms too, I'm not sure. Lamb meatballs. Spring meat. Buttermilk tres leches cake. I'm not sure what this has to do with the vegetables. I'm a little confused. How to pack a picnic. Good info. Here's some step-by-step -step photos. You know I love those for a blueberry galette. And now we're in shrimp season. Okay. Starting off with beautiful photo of shrimp. I've never eaten shrimp, but my boyfriend eats a lot of it. Eat more tropical fruits. Well, I'd love to, but in Seattle, they're not grown here. Here's a shrimp roll. I bet you're drooling at that picture. I see a bunch of mayonnaise. Am I wrong? I think I'm right. Olive oil. Smoked fish dip with hush puppies. Love hush puppies. The Old Man in the Sea cocktail. Yum! P. 
peel and eat shrimp. Sounds like a lot of work. Zucchini and crookneck squash escabeche. See, that should have been in the vegetable section. I'm confused. Okay. Beautiful blue crab ceviche. These photos are stunning, and I love that there's a lot of them. Ginger and chili grilled shrimp, fish tacos. Here's a Cumberland paella. I can't wait to hear what you think you would make from this cookbook first. Carolina gold rice pudding. What's the first thing you would be tempted to attempt in your own home kitchen? Fresh blueberries, low country boil. Um, whoa, now we're in heat season. And I just saw an incredible photo of some tomatoes, which is why I said, whoa. Buttermilk biscuits, favorite ways to top a biscuit. You know there's gonna be biscuits in any Southern cookbook, right? An heirloom tomato Bloody Mary, crispy okra and tomato salad. Yum. Gorgeous photography. <gasps> what are these? <gasps> Savory summer tarts. I almost fainted because they look so good. Wow. And I bet you can use a whole bunch of different things in them. Summer salad. Gorgeous. Braised fairy tale eggplant. Hmm. It's hard to photograph eggplant and make it look good, I know. Cantaloupe and mouse melons. What is a mouse melon? I am dying to find out. Hmm. Grilled skirt steak. Okay, I'll show you meat eaters that picture. I bet that looks good to you. Keep going. Southern rice bowl. Cast iron sweet corn and buttered shrimp. And peach upside down cake. Beautiful. How to fry a fish. Summer fish fry. I bet you're hungry after watching this look through. Now the final chapter, smoke and cedar season. It's a little bit thinner than the other chapters. Slow roasted fall tomatoes, banana walnut bread, crisp fall green salad. Uh, coal roasted sweet potatoes. Kind of a weird photo. I don't know why I showed it to you. Grilled cauliflower. Simple. Mm -hmm. That's the second cauliflower recipe in here. Caribbean style fish stew. Banana leaf wrapped snapper. And here is fish, shrimp, and grits. Oh my. <laughs> I knew there'd be some grits in here. Fried apple pie. In case apple pie isn't delicious enough, let's fry it and a dark chocolate tart. Wow, that is the incredible saltwater table. I may have to own this, but I don't cook with fish, so I better not. Let's save some room on the shelf. That is the saltwater table, which I do highly recommend, by Whitney Otaka. You can see more of our Cookbook Divas video reviews on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook. We have a blog with cookbook news and info. And we have a podcast for those of you that like to listen. Be sure to click like and comment. Please say something nice on our posts if you've enjoyed them. That way the social media algorithms will show you more of our posts. Thanks so much for watching.